start to kick in. 26 and a quarter miles ahead of them. Away they go then, the Flora London Marathon 2003, the women's elite field. With a sprinkling of men involved, a mixed race officially to enable pacemakers to hopefully take these athletes in particular Paula Radcliffe to well who knows perhaps a world record certainly a very very fast time conditions today pretty much ideal a little bit warmer indeed than last year as Shirley Brazier and John Disley get this race underway and as you say absolutely perfect in terms of conditions perhaps a bit of a, a wind especially in this early stage and Tanny Right about halfway down that field. Interesting competitor I haven't mentioned is Tushar Patel. He'll be wearing number seven. He's a winner of the past, uh, the, the last two Great North runs. And uh, certainly somebody who could challenge for a place in the top three. Yeah, I think between David Weir and uh, Tusha Patel, we've got a very strong British challenge there. But leading the group there is, uh, as you know from France, who's very much the class in the pace. But London Marathon does tend to be a leveller. So we hope for a British win here. So Stephen Redgrave and Todd Carty, the starters for all of these youngsters, 2,000 of them from all over the United Kingdom and of course the 33 London boroughs represented and among some of those uh, athletes who've travelled hundreds and hundreds of miles to get there Ailish McColgan, Liz McColgan of course a former winner of the London Marathon, her daughter is representing Scotland John Disley and Shirley Brescia set them on their way. A sight to behold every single year. One of the greatest sporting occasions on the British calendar and indeed the world calendar. The London Marathon. In bright sunshine, perfect conditions once more gets underway this is the site that for the last 23 years you, you sit here and you watch this happening and you just feel as though you're in the wrong place we should be out there it really does get you going and this is the event and the image that fills up all the other road races in the country people sit there and say if they can do that I can do that and that is the challenge of the London Marathon Well, it's serious up at the front, and although we call them fun runners, it's pretty serious further back as well. Everybody with their own targets they're aiming at, times some just wanting to get to the other end. Let's say that I ran the London Marathon, one of life's great achievements, and over half a million people have now run the London Marathon since Chris Brasher first set the first one underway back in 1981 and training hours of preparation and getting ready for it and we're looking at the sharp end of the race here these are the men running around out around about two hours 30 two hours 40 minutes for the marathon are well, you right brendan we uh, should give mention to all of the club runners i was looking on the bbc website yesterday and uh, just underline that there was an email from performance she's won titles on the country, she's a world champion at cross country, she's won titles on the track now, the Commonwealth Games and the Europeans last year she's broken British records before, and when she moved up to the marathon just over 18 months ago, she then went on to break the world record in Chicago but here in London, today April the 13th if I could stand up I would I'd stand up and applaud like everybody else because you are seeing a new world record from Paula Radcliffe Fantastic performance, the best yet. 2:15:26, unbelievable. Elmwoodies, Baldini, and Golopus, Abera, Turgat. As you look at them, still stride for stride. Elmwoodies, the first to crack. Baldini pushing on, but Golopus still with them. Abera waits. Turgat waits. Is this the big final kick? And Golopus pushes on. Turgat's got out the back now. Baldini at the front for Italy. And Golopus next to him. Here comes Abera. The Olympic champion, the world champion, kicks away, he does it again, he wins the London Marathon.
and get your hat. Leave your memory on the doorstep. Just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street. Let it all sink in. It looks a little bit painful at the moment, but the euphoria of coming down the mall with so many spectators, and then the realization that you've actually finished it, you've done it, and especially for those people who are doing it for the very first time. And then, of course, the collection of all of that sponsorship money. Great achievements. They're all super superheroes, aren't they? There's 33,000 of them out there today.